we know that this has got to do with our history, but we also know that this has got to do with the perpetuation of inequality today. I believe any child is deserving of another chance, even if they've been expelled or suspended or dropped out of the school system. We are open for every learner who is in need of a school. Each and every teacher knows each and every learner by name. And that's why we are a very close little family. They love people secondary school. They don't want to leave the school. I never thought that they would close down the school because this is a, a school for everybody. We don't reject learners at the school. So we wouldn't like the school to close down. The fact that 66% of our learner population is coming from outside the immediate area. That is, uh, learners are coming from Langa, opposite the N2 highway. Learners are coming from uh, Nyanga. Learners are coming from Google to Joe Slovo, Philippi, and as far afield as Kailicha. So they are saying, because those 66% learners, mainly Isikosa speaking learners, are coming not from the area but from outside the area. Those learners, they must go back to their communities. It's my choice to come in with you. And everybody have a right to go where, where you want to go. You have a right to go where you want to go. Nobody must tell you you can go in other school. <coughs> it's about choices. I was born and bred in District 6 and I was in the area the time when the Group Areas Act was introduced and day by day I was one of the children in the area seeing our families are moved from the place where they were born, the place that they called home. So when I think of what um, the WCED is wanting to do in Bridgetown now and all these schools they are contemplating and closing it's actually taking me back to those years. The Western Cape Education Department is saying everything they do is in the best interest of the child. How can closing a school be in the best interest of a child? If you close an uh, institution of learning it means you are closing and you're giving up on children and you cannot decide for a parent that taking them to another school. The parent can decide where after 1994 when democracy came in Parents could decide where they want their children to go to school. We want them to succeed. But our um, motto at Peakview is, if you don't succeed this year, you're not going to give up. You're going to try again next year. She's a lifesaver. That's the import for the Isikosa to save our school. Muslim girls, they must give us a chance to improve ourselves. By the end of the year, we'll show them that we're going to make it. Of course, 80%. We're going to make it tell off from 18, sure. 18 to 81%. We must check, must check the paper. You must check the paper. And they, 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 they don't want that. They don't want to give us a chance. Must? They should. They should. They must. A it's a must. They, yeah, it's a matter of must that they need to give us a chance so that we can prove ourselves. We're going to fight for us for the school's right name. We will be able to have a right? Yes. yes. yes.